Hello there, I'm glad you could join me today. Today I'll be going through ICR specification reference 2.1.2D, which is the structure of alpha, alpha and beta glucose and the structure of ribose. So, alpha glucose will have six carbons in a ring structure with an oxygen in this position here. First carbon will have the alcohol group at the bottom, so the OH is at the bottom. So we'll see, so will the second carbon. Third carbon will have the OH at the top. Fourth carbon will have it at the bottom. Fifth carbon will not have an OH group as it is. it, it will be bond to the H. The O over here, carbon 4 and carbon 6 which is up here which will have two hydrogens and an alcohol group on top of it. Now, beta-glucose uh, is the exact same apart from here. This, at this point, the, al the alcohol group is on the top instead of on the bottom, as you can see there. Now, uh, the way I like to remember it is that beta is beta-glucose, just because it follows a nice pattern of up and down. So alpha, the pattern of the alcohols goes down, up, down, down. Or this one goes down, up, down, up. So I just find it to be a little bit easier. All right, now this here is what is called a rib. This is ribose sugar. Ribose is a pentose sugar. You need to know that uh, the difference between a hexose sugar and a pentose sugar is that a hexose sugar will have six carbons, a pentose sugar will have five. Now, it is once again arranged in a ring-like structure. So you've got one carbon here with the OH on top. Then you've got a second carbon, a third carbon, with both the OH at the bottom, a fourth carbon here, and then you've got your fifth carbon off to the side with its, with its two hydrogens and an, and an alcohol group. Now, uh, carbon 4 and carbon 1 don't connect to each other. Uh, they connect to an oxygen, which is the intermediate. And that is everything you should know about the structure of hexose and pentose sugars.